In this video, we'll show you how to set up your Allegro 2 reformer. If you have the extended leg kit, be sure to follow these instructions before trying to install the legs. First, unpack the reformer and make sure you have everything in the parts list. There should also be a flat box with the footbar in it. Be careful and don't use a knife to open the footbar box. We will start with the footbar. It's easiest to do this if you raise the reformer off the ground. You can use some of the packaging foam like we do here. Make sure the footbar sliding mechanisms are in position under the black tape on the frame. Remove the locking pins and let them hang free. Now unhook the carriage springs and move the carriage out of the way. Then remove the bungee cord that is attached to the footbar sliding mechanisms underneath the carriage. It is there to keep the mechanisms in place during shipping. Remove the four pieces of cardboard that are wedged between the carriage and the frame rails. Now is a good time to check that the sliding mechanisms on both sides are not jammed. The mechanism plates should be vertical and not angled out at the bottom. Also, if you push down on the exposed bolt, the mechanism should slide easily up and down the frame rail. If it does not, watch the podcast that explains how to fix footbar sliding mechanisms jammed in shipping before proceeding with this video. Now bring the footbar to the standing platform end of the reformer. The footbar has plates at the ends with one curved edge and one flat edge. Lay the footbar down on the ground with the curved edge facing down. Then maneuver the footbar as shown to get the plates under the frame. Be careful not to hit the reformer frame with the footbar plates. Here is a sliding mechanism and a section of a footbar so you can see what is going on inside the frame. You need to lift the footbar up, over, and around the mechanism until the pin rests in the slot. If you are in the right slot, the footbar locking pin can be slid through the footbar and into the mechanism plate. Step into the frame, lift the footbar so that the plates at the end go up into the frame. With the footbar vertical, you should be able to walk it forward until the leading edge of the footbar gets to the black tape on the frame, then lower it into position. Tilt the footbar toward the standing platform and insert the locking pin on one side. The pin should go through the footbar plate and sliding mechanism plate. If it doesn't, the footbar is in the wrong position. Lift it up, line up the footbar with the tape, and try again. Now look at the footbar from the end of the reformer to make sure it is level. We will now install the footbar bolts. To prepare, slide one of the bronze washers over a bolt, followed by a square slide key. Repeat on the other bolt. Now go to the side of the reformer with the locking pin in the locked position from earlier. You can see through the slot in the footbar plate the threaded hole where you need to install the footbar bolt. Make sure the bronze washer and slide key are on the bolt and push the tip of the bolt into the threaded hole. You may also have to turn the square slider so it can go into the footbar plate slot. Before trying to turn the bolt, you need to take the weight of the footbar off the bolt. You can do this with your shoulder or have a friend help you. 
Gently support the weight of the foot bar and jiggle it up and down as you finger tighten the bolt. When you are doing it correctly, you will feel that the bolt turns freely and screws into the sliding mechanism easily if you keep jiggling. If it is not going in easily by hand, don't put a wrench on it or force anything. Something is not aligned correctly. Make sure the foot bar locking pin is going through the foot bar only on the side you're working on. Take a minute to position yourself to be able to support the foot bar while finger tightening the bolt. You can also try positioning your hand in different ways to tighten the bolt. You can do it from one side of the foot bar as shown. You can reach around both sides of the bottom of the foot bar with your thumb and forefinger, or you can try using one hand from either side of the foot bar. Position the wrench with the long end on the bolt, then tighten the bolt until snug. Do not over tighten. With the bolt tight, the bronze washer can spin freely. Now you can remove the foot bar locking pin from that side and install the foot bar bolt, washer, and slide key on the other side. You don't need to use the foot bar locking pin on that side. Please watch the DVD that came with your Allegro 2 to familiarize yourself with how to adjust the foot bar. The spring collars provide an easy place to grab and position your reformer springs. To install them, orient them with the larger end toward the spring hoop. Then slide the collar over the colored neck of the spring and push it until it engages with the hoop. Then repeat on the rest of the springs. To install your shoulder rests, just drop them into the shoulder rest holes in the carriage. The posts on the shoulder rests are not symmetrical, so you can rotate them 180 degrees to get more or less distance between them. If you ordered a tower with your Allegro 2, you do not need risers. If you did not order a tower, you should have one more box with the risers inside. To install the risers, just lower them into the riser holes in the frame. Make sure the two cutouts in the riser face directly towards the carriage. Then reach under the frame and tighten the knob under each riser. Just get them nice and snug, no need to over tighten. To thread your ropes through your risers, you will need to pull more rope out of the carriage. To do this, grasp both ropes, pull the rope adjusting lever sideways away from the headrest. Do not pull up or push down on the lever. With the lever pulled out, you can pull more rope out from the carriage. You want enough rope to be able to feed the ropes through the risers. To help you get the rope through the riser, we have attached a string to the end. Fish that string through the bottom cutout in the riser and out the top one. Then grab it and pull the rope out the top cutout. Once the ropes are through the riser, you can remove the string. Remove them by untying the knot. Don't use scissors or a knife to avoid cutting the reformer rope. Install the loops as shown here. Once both double loops are installed, Pull out the rope adjusting lever and pull on the rope until you can slide the double loops over the shoulder rests. Then you can pull on the lever again and take out the slack to set your ropes evenly. To install the foot strap, first make sure to orient it so that the balance body logo is facing up. Then feed one end under the end of the standing platform and through the chrome footman's loop. It is very important that the foot strap goes through this loop, not under or around it. Then the foot strap can be looped around one of the foot strap hooks under the standing platform. Make sure it is pushed all the way in. Then repeat on the other end of the foot strap. 
The foot strap can be adjusted to three lengths depending on which foot strap hooks you use. It is important that the foot strap is checked before every use to make sure it goes through the footman's loops on both ends and that it is securely on both of the foot strap hooks under the standing platform. Now you can remove the black tape used in the foot bar setup and you're done. Thanks for watching.